Kim Chae-won is a South Korean vocalist, songwriter, and dancer who rose to fame through participating in Mnet's survival show, Produce 48, and debuting as a member of iZone. Kim Chae-won was born on the 1st of August, 2000, in Gyeopadong, Seoul, South Korea, and was raised with a sister who is six years older than her. Their mother is the veteran theater actress Lee Ren-hee, who has been working for three decades in the field and is known for the role she's portrayed in stage plays that include the 20th century writer Kansai Fist and Fall Into Me. She is supportive of her daughter's career choice and was seen attending the final live broadcast of Produce 48. There is no information about her father. A simple reminder how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving either an iPhone Max, iPad Mini, or MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Kim studied at Seoul Poi Elementary School and Gayong Middle School before matriculating from Gayapo High School. She currently attends Hanlin Multi Art School. It has been a dream of hers since she was young to become a Korean pop or K-pop girl group member. Her first taste of what it was like to perform in front of an audience was in 2012 when she participated in KBS's Korea Children's Song Contest. Years passed before she eventually became a trainee for Woolum Entertainment, which is home to popular idol groups such as Infinite and Lovely Z. She appeared in her label mate, Gold Golden Child's official music video, MV, for the song entitled Let Me, released on the 4th of July 2018, and which garnered 2 million views. Kim trained for 11 months before her big break came when she joined Mnet's Produce 48 to have a shot at becoming one of 12 in the group that the show was planning to debut. This third season of the Produce 101 series was highly anticipated, considering the first two seasons were able to launch the careers of many as the winners debuted as members of IOI Season 1 and 101 Season 2, which both became successful K-pop idol groups. In this show, the 96 trainees from various management agencies who participated were not just from South Korea, but also from Japan, as it was a joint project of Mnet and Yasushi Akimoto of the Japanese idol group franchise AKB48. The first episode was aired on the 15th of June, 2018 in both Mnet Korea and Mnet Japan, and ran for 12 episodes. The girls were mentored by professionals in dancing, rapping, and singing, and were given challenges or missions to show their skills as they appeal to the viewing public, whom they referred to as the national producers, and who would decide their fate through online and live audience voting. During the final live broadcast on the 31st of August, 2018, the top 12 trainees who received the most votes and would debut as members of Eyes One, stylized as IZ Star One and pronounced as Eyes One, were revealed. Che Won placed 10th in ranking with over 238,000 votes. She would then promote with the group for two and a half years under Off the Record and Swing Entertainment. Later, the production director, Ahn Jun Young, admitted to manipulation of votes and ranking for Produce 48 which resulted in speculations on the real ranking for the final 12 members who debuted. All those involved, including the production team and entertainment agencies, were investigated. After Young was arrested, a closed trial was held to protect the names of the trainees who would be affected. He was jailed and fined, but the names of those who genuinely comprise the top 12 haven't been published. The name Eyes One means the 12 members together as one, with IZ representing the number 12. The group's official name for its fandom is Wiz One, with Wiz taken from the word wizard and refers to the fans who are making a magical future together with them and explained by one of the members. It didn't take long for the group to debut, with Che Won as the lead vocalist and lead dancer. As members of an idol group, they can all sing and dance, while some of them can rap. However, each one has a specific role in the group, such as Unbi being the leader and Won Young the center. Minju, Sakura, and Haiwon are in charge of visuals. Yina is the main rapper, Che Yeon is the main dancer, Yuri is the main vocalist, Yoon Jin is the lead vocalist and lead dancer, and Nako and Hitomi are the vocalists. They release their extended play or EP, entitled Color Eyes, on the 20th of October 2018, as well as held their showcase concert, Color Eyes Showcon, to a sold-out crowd at the Olympic Hall in Seoul on that same day, broadcast live on YouTube and Facebook. Two versions of the physical EP were released, namely Color and Rose. Korean record labels usually release several versions of an album with the same music content, but different album covers, photo cards, and photo books. It is a great marketing strategy to increase sales as most fans buy them all for their cover collection as well as to show their support for their idols. 
The physical EP has eight tracks, four of which were re-recorded by the members as they were included in the digital album entitled Produce 48 Final, and the rest were new ones, including the title track La Vienne Rose. The digital release only has seven tracks, as the show's official song Pick Me isn't included. It was received well by the public as it topped international music charts, including Japan's Oricon, as well as the iTunes charts in 10 countries that included Thailand, Singapore, Indonesia, and Israel. It also charted at number 9 on the Billboard World Albums chart. Locally, it ranked second on Korea's Gaian Album chart upon reaching 250,000 unit sales. Korean Music Content Association KMCA, gave them their first platinum certification. The official MV has currently more than 130 million views. Ten days after the EP's release, they won first place on Mnet's music show, M Countdown, which made them the fastest girl group following debut to do that at the time. As a successful rookie group, they were able to bag the Best New Artist of the Year award from Mnet Asian Music, Soul Music, Gaian Chart Music, and Golden Disc Awards. Billboard hailed them as one of the best K-pop idol groups to debut in 2018. The group signed a recording contract on the 6th of December 2018 with Japan's EMI Records label for their Japanese promotions. On the 20th of January 2019, they held their Japanese debut showcase concert in Tokyo Dome City Hall to meet their fans and perform the Japanese debut single Suki to Iwasatai, Tell Me You Love Me, released on the 6th of February, and which topped the Oricon singles chart with almost 200,000 physical copies sold that day. It ranked number two on both the Billboard Japan Hot 100 and the weekly Oricon singles chart, and was certified platinum on the 8th of March by the Recording Industry Association of Japan, RIAJ, as it surpassed 250,000 unit sales. Their second EP, entitled Hard Eyes, had over 200,000 pre-orders and more than 130,000 copies were sold the day it was released on April 1st, 2019. It topped the Gaian album chart and was later certified platinum by KMCA. It peaked at number 6 on the US Billboard World Album Chart and number 4 on the Oricon Chart. The EP contains 8 tracks such as Highlight, Really Like You, Airplane, and the title track Violetta which peaked at number 18 on the Guyana Digital Chart and number 8 on the Billboard World Digital Song Chart. On the day of its release, the group held a comeback showcase concert entitled Part 2, which was aired live on Stone Music's YouTube channel and the Mnet channel. Eyes One held their first ever concert tour, Eyes On Me, in June 2019, kicked off a three-day concert at the Jam Sale Indoor Stadium in Seoul, followed by Thailand, Taiwan, Hong Kong and Japan. With over 80,000 attendees, the group also performed at the KCON New York held on the 6th of July at the Madison Square Garden in New York City. KCON stands for the Korean Wave Convention, which is a music festival held annually in various parts of the world, at which fans get to see several K-pop groups perform their biggest hits and newly released singles. On the 26th of June 2019, they released another Japanese single entitled Buenos Aires, which has 16 editions that include solo member jackets, a limited Wiz One CD edition, regular CD and DVD edition, and a CD box set edition that has all the members' editions and Wiz One. It reached the top position on both the Billboard Japan Hot 100 and Oricon singles chart, as well as receiving platinum certification from RIAJ. Their third Japanese single, Vampire was released on the 25th of September 2019, and it also performed well on the music charts in Japan and was awarded gold certification by RIAJ, with over 200,000 copies sold in the first week. On the 17th of February 2020, they released their first studio album entitled Bloom Eyes, which has three versions, namely I Am, I Was, and I Will. Its 12 tracks include I I I, So Curious, Someday, and the title track Fiesta. They broke the record for the most number of albums sold on the day of release with 184,000, as well as the record for Hanteo Chart's first week sales, with over 356,000 copies sold. Hanteo counts the number of individual album sales from approved websites or online stores, while Gaian Charts count the number of albums shipped out to stores. Their third EP, One Eric Diary, released on the 15th of June 2020, was even more successful as it broke their previous first week sales record on Hanteo Charts with close to 390,000 copies sold. It ranked number one on the Gaian album chart and received double platinum certification from KMCA for exceeding 500,000 copies sold. The EP has three versions versions, namely One Eric, 3D, and Diary, with eight tracks including the song With One, which Kim co-wrote with other members, and the title track, Secret Story of the Swan. Chewan is 20 years old and currently single. 
If she's dating or seeing anyone, it is unlikely that it would be revealed to the public. As a member of a K-pop girl group, she would be bound by the no dating clause that is included in the contract she signed with her label, which bars her from dating for three to five years after her debut, because it may prove a distraction from focusing on her career, which the management hopes to avoid. It also has the potential to ruin her image that would subsequently affect the group as well. Her answers to Ask FM when she was in high school became controversial. One example is when she was asked, do you like fat people? And she replied, who does? She also said that her idol type is someone who is not short. Some netizens criticized her for being superficial while others defended her. She has become close to fellow members Kim Minju, and there are some netizens, internet users, who like to put malice into their relationship, saying that they are a couple while others say that they are just friends. Hobbies, favorites, Rumors and interesting facts about Chewon include that her English name is Anna Kim and nicknames Fairy Chewon, Radish Cabbage Fairy, Angel Chewon, and Toy Poodle. Her favorite artists are IU and Taeyeon of Girls' Generation. One of her special talents is peeling three tangerines in half a minute. She likes to eat spicy foods, fried chicken, and cheesecake. Mint chocolate is her favorite ice cream flavor. She likes it so much that she does the mint choco choco dance. Aegyo is known for it. K-pop idols are known for doing Aegyo, which is acting cute by doing baby talk or using baby voice with matching facial expressions and gestures. It is a way to show affection or appeal to someone. Some favorites are blueberries, the color pink, and the movie La La Land. Her hobbies include listening to ballads, as well as watching dramas, choreography videos, and mukbang, eating broadcast videos. Fan cams of Chaewon's performances on music shows have been trending on news portal sites in Korea since the start of 2020. As netizens praised her for her beauty, charm, and skills, netizens call her the hidden gem of eyes one. Physically, Chewan is 5 feet 5 inches or 1.64 meters tall, weighing about 95 pounds or 43 kilograms, and has a lean build. She is Asian with black hair and brown eyes. She keeps her hair long, but changes its color during album promotions. According to sources, Kim Chewan has an estimated net worth of close to $1 million as of August 2020. Quite impressive for a 20-year-old in the business for just a few years. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.